G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for a free day-long tournament. This is an 8-board BBO tournament that you can play by going to competitions and then find the free day-long tournament. Uh, this is one where we've got the friendship group. If you want to join it, just post in the comments that you've added me and tell me your BBO username and I'll add you back. Anyway, uh, let's jump straight in. So we're playing match points today and best hand tournament. Now I've got a 12 count here. My partner opened and we got an overcall. Looks like we're going to be playing probably just four hearts, but I'll start with one heart. Just checking what, uh, six plus hearts, 13 plus total points. They play strong jump shifts here. I think there's a reasonable description of my hand, so let's just, yeah. All right, we found a fit. <laughs> I really don't play very much strong jump shift stuff here, so a little bit... I was glad that I spotted this as a potential option. Uh, right, eight of spades lead. Uh, it's not going to go like spade, spade rough. So I could finesse here. I have a spade loser. I have some diamond losers. I want to try and trump a diamond. I could play a west to have five spades, but that seems a little inconsistent. Uh, 10, 12, 12 in my hands, 24, 16 points missing. East probably has the majority of them, but uh, West has at least four. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to finesse. I, I can't see any downside other than trying to drop a singleton king offside, but the eight's not consistent with what they led there. So spade back. Uh, they led the eight, and now... I've played the seven. I've set it up so I could finesse the jack six here if I wanted to. Four nil offside. Right. Okay. Uh, so my option to try and trump a diamond is now out. Or at least it's not great. I can go about trying to do that early. I can play a spade towards the jack. If they trump the that's not great and that uh, if they trump it then I um, I still have issues with roughing the diamonds so let's cross in the clubs <laughs> it took me a while to get that out so I'll lead a diamond up now and I don't expect diamonds to be 7-1 uh, so we'll just trump that yeah so that one stood up so diamonds and now another diamond rough. Okay. And now we just draw trumps and they get a heart trick. Uh, my spades all good. So claim making just on the nose. Uh, for plus 420. So how do I reckon that went? Um, I don't think the opponents can do anything about it. Yeah, we're just cold. If I just bid one heart, we'll go pass. My partner will probably bid a spade. People might not know how to actually bid the hand properly later. If you try it for three no trumps, that really doesn't work well, even at uh, match points. So, not on this hand. 13 points, 5, 2, 4, 2. So, I'll start with one spade. Spade and no trump being forcing. I've got another suit that I can happily bid. Three spades, limit raise. Uh, I've got some doubletons. This is an uh, easy four spade bid. I really dislike the method of putting this into a no trump, but uh, unfortunately I can't convince the robots not to do it with me. Okay, uh, we've got a few diamond losers. Uh, we've got a club loser, we've got a heart loser. My partner has 12 points opposite my 13, which is 25, 15 missing. I can lead diamonds towards my hand. I can try taking a heart finesse. Uh, I might have a deep spade loser, but I don't think I can do anything about that. Uh, I could be worried about people getting diamond roughs, but I want to lead up diamonds towards my hands, so I'm just going to win and utilize my entries while I've got it. So I'll lead a diamond, and yep, that was offside. I led a club, so uh, just checking to see if... Uh, Trying to see if that forced out an honor, like if I'd led away from like Queen 10x or King 10x, 
That would have forced out the king or queen there, and I might have been able to set up my jack. But now I just want to draw trumps ending in the north hand, so I can lead a diamond towards the knight 8. I want to keep finessing diamonds. If west led a singleton jack of spades, I'm giving up that option by playing ace of spades spade to the queen. Uh, singleton jack of spades would be a bad lead. Um, the robots would still potentially make that. I can't afford to play a spade to the queen and then a diamond up. I could try for like ace of spades, black spade to the queen, spade back, then a heart finesse. I probably don't need... Like at this stage I've got a, di a club loser and two diamonds to lose. So I need the heart finesse to work. So I, I think I can afford to play a spade over. So we need the heart finesse. Okay, that worked. So now we can play a diamond towards the nine, which fails. Okay. Um, what other options do I have here now? Yeah, I was thinking that maybe I could do some squeeze if they didn't cut communication. Uh, but we'll just play Ace of Hearts, Rough of Heart. If I really wanted to try and make this, so I could try exiting a club here, but it's just not going to work. West doesn't have King X. So we'll just catch out for down one. I think I got to a point like I could have made a uh, hearts. So what do I have to do? Jack of spades, win, and diamond to the king. I'm still cold. So here, another club. I get to win, and I can draw trumps. Can I afford to draw the last trump? Yeah. So at this stage, I'm still cold. So to make this, I have to play west to have all those good diamonds and sort of. Uh, strip squeeze them, or like heart, 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 rough, exit with a club, they play something, and then I exit the nine of diamonds, which is a really unrealistic line of play. But, uh, down one here, so uh, this will be a slightly bad score, not everyone will be bidding in game, um, but happy to be there, but uh, probably about 35 to 45%. Um, 9, 11 points. I've got spade, so let's get in there and bid a spade. Partner just bids a no trump or pass. Four card <laughs> raise, my hand's garbage. So this is one of the rare times where I'm actually passing the four card invite. And we've got a heart, two clubs, and a diamond to lose at least. Um... Looks like the Acer... Of, well, the Ace of Diamonds is on side for sure. Uh, the reason I know this is because this is a best hand tournament. I had 11 points, and Ace has shown up with two Aces, so no fear there. I don't think they underled, but I can't see any cost. Okay, and they didn't test me by playing another club to see if I'd want to rough it high. But uh, spade over and spades uh, breaking. If they were 4-0, I could have still picked it up. But I would have had to work out what to do with my losers. But uh, plus 140. If I pass that out, it would probably get passed in. So opening that one should be a good result. Moving on to board number 4. Here I've got 12 count again. All of these narrow options for this best hand tournament makes it pretty interesting. Um, I've got a 12 count. My partner has 12 as well. At imps I'd be bidding game. Match points, I think it's a lot closer. It's between invite and bid game. But this is a pretty pure 12 count. Uh, my double turn partner suit's not great. But let, let's go. We'll, We'll, we'll back ourselves. I could have tried bidding like three no trumps or something. Anyway, uh, we have two diamond losers and three spade losers. Uh, to deal with this, I probably need to trump 
two spades or two diamonds and trying to look at what I need to actually rough with I think roughing in my hand will be better although if I win and play a diamond they play a club I play a diamond I have to make sure that um, I have to make sure what do I have to make sure of? Ah, oh, it's tough. Um, like, I, I'd be worried about them getting a club rough, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, is there potential options of either suit that I can set up without having to rough the final round? Um, so I might be able to only rough one spade if there's like Queen Jack third spade or like Honor Honor third spade on side with East. So I'm going to go for roughing the spades. Just gonna give up one uh, my spade early. Okay. Now again in the market. Okay. Uh, so Try and work out. I could cash ace queen of hearts, club over. Well, I probably have to go club club. I think I have to play for clubs three three, and then try and rough uh, that last spade. I could cross in clubs and play a spade. I think regardless of what happens, I need clubs breaking three three. So a couple of options. I could play ace ace of clubs club and then try and play a spade and West might have difficulty roughing in. Like, I might be able to set up my nine of hearts. Alternatively, I could draw two rounds of trumps, ace of clubs club to my hand, then try roughing a spade and that would hope that the person who has the fourth spade has the doubleton heart or that the heart comes down. I think taking the rough early is better, so let's go ace of clubs club. Okay, so we get to over-rough them, and now ace of hearts, and a heart, and we see the jack, so I don't need to guess how um, the hearts were breaking. He could have played low and put me to the guess, but they didn't, and it looks like both lines would have actually worked here, so I'm going to lose two diamonds and make uh, plus 620. So here, the person with the short spades did have the short hearts, so... Uh, Drawing two rounds of trumps, club, club, would have worked. Here, when I played it, West had to rough in high to give me a guess. East putting the jack in was really strange. Uh, but overall, I think this one should be good. 85% uh, would be my guess. Maybe even higher. Okay. Uh, 10, 16 points. Not a 12 or th like 11 to 13 count anymore. But we'll open one no trump, transfer, and partner just passed. Got 5 4 in the majors. Uh, we have a few heart, couple of heart losers, a club loser, and a couple of spade losers. Let's just see what happens in spades. 10. Looks like they're going to get a spade rough here. We'll just unblock the queen anyway. Okay, they did not get a spade rough. I'll be able to throw a club on, on a diamond. Um. I'm trying to, like, in hearts I could try doing, like, a double finesse. I could try, like, running the queen of hearts and then playing a heart to the ten. West showed up with ace, king of spades and probably has another... I'm going to choose a different... <laughs> I, I can't talk today. I don't know why. But I'm going to just try and draw as many trumps as possible because I'm worried about that spade rough. Uh, no need to rush to uh, pitch my club yet because I've got the ace of clubs. So uh, ace of hearts and heart. East hopped in with the king. Uh, ace of clubs. We get to win that and now draw the final trump. And now ace king of diamonds pitching a club. And let's just see what was happening in the spades. East had the double ten, but making ten. Another fantastic result. Um, 
Yeah, but all, all lines would have worked. I could have like double finessed into ace two, can't give the rough. I was slightly worried West might have had the Dalton spade. Um, but everything worked out pretty well. They did not get their rough in time for plus 170. Okay. Board number six. So here we've got 10, 15 points, and East has 15 as well. I could try doubling them, which I think is reasonable. Uh, because they're vulnerable against not, and I've got all the points sitting over them, and I've got a five-card suit that I can try and lead. I don't often double people with 15 points, but let's give it a shot. And let's just lead a club and see what we find out. Find out I shouldn't have doubled them. Okay, uh, so first of all, club lead, not the best. Um, okay, so dummy had five points, so my partner has also got th five points. So points are literally 20-20. Uh, the club queen king ace. I can set up a deep club trick with my 10 8 5. Uh, so I'll be able to get uh, two club tricks, two spade tricks uh, is four, a heart and a diamond is six. I could duck the first um, spade. Does that give them the tempo? Probably. Uh, but we'll do it anyway. Okay. Okay, so spades are 4 3, and let's just come out the 8 of clubs here, see if they want to finesse. Okay, so now my 10 5's big enough to cut them off. I could duck a heart here, that would give them, that would cut communication really well. They have no good way of getting back to the hand, so I get to win that. And now 10 of clubs. And another club. And I believe my spades are both good now. I think I'm literally squeezing east here. <laughs> okay, so my partner only had the stiff king of clubs and one other queen. Plus 200. Fantastic result. But I think this one was a cool one for looking at how I can set up the club suit. So... Small club, queen, king, ace, and I think they might be down now. Yeah, they were down as soon as they played a spade. Maybe they could have made it after I ducked. Yeah, so I actually had to hop in straight away and return it. I really, but, yeah, <laughs> tough one to call. And now spade back. And here, they're down by me coming out the ten of clubs, then the eight of clubs, and then my 5-2 being good. So really cool one for paying attention to the pips. Uh, what are my other alternatives here? If I hop in with the queen of spades... Uh, how does hopping in with the queen of spades help? So do I still squeeze the east hand? Because they have to hold on to king x of diamonds, they have to hold on to their hearts, they have to hold on to the spades. So if I hopped in... Um, on the runner clubs, they might have been in trouble again. But uh, plus 200. Didn't necessarily defend it the best, but tricky one there. Very happy with that one. Uh, moving on to board number 7. 10, 17 points. Another strong no trump. Uh, minor suit stamen for my partner. So I'll show them that I've got diamonds. Uh, 3 no, sure. Not sure what they were hoping for with their minor suit statement. It's sort of like if I didn't have many points in the majors, maybe I would have gone there. Here with 12 of my points, it seemed obvious to still play three no trumps. Uh, my partner has 12 points opposite my 17, so 29, 11 missing. Uh, we've got three hearts, two spades is five, a club is six, a diamond is seven. We want to build some diamond tricks, so I'm just going to go ahead and laid a diamond to the ace and <laughs> what's funny is this doesn't actually matter because diamonds are 3-1 i don't know who's having a joke around and popping in the king there but someone's got king 10-9 and they still have a diamond winner if it was west it did cost a trick if it's east it's just kind of hilarious 
Yeah. So, <laughs> like, they just unblock the queen and they've still got their diamond tree. Alright, another heart to me. And now I can pitch one club on the Queen of Hearts. Uh, and then maybe squeeze someone in clubs and spades. Probably should have paid attention here. Um, but let's diamond over. Got a club discard. Spade discard. Um, yeah, so there's no... I was trying to work out if I lose to the King of Clubs, uh, am I giving up a trick here? But if I lead the Queen, that's fine. And now club over to the ace. Queen of Hearts pitching a club. And we haven't seen the King of Clubs, so just spade, spade, and see if my spade's good, which it isn't. But plus 660. Uh, don't think I can do any better. So another good result. So I thought we were running pretty good. Uh, one baddie here with board number two. But other than that, pretty strong showing so far. So hopefully we can finish off strong. And what do we have here? We've got 17 hides and a spade fit. Um, I am balanced. I'm considering trying to show, see if partner wants to play three no trumps. So I'll show my fit, then offer three no trumps. And this way, if partner really wants to play in spades, they can convert. Okay, so three no trumps would not be great. Um, and now we've got four hearts, a diamond's five, a heart, spade's six. We don't have nine tricks. On a diamond opening, my partner has nine points opposite my 17. Nine points of 17 is 26, 14 missing. Uh, I don't think West would open 11 count unless they're balanced, so they have uh, all the other stuff. Looks like East has the Jack of Diamonds. So here, my, my one hope is Singleton King of Spades. But then I still lose to 10, 8, 7, 4th with East. Uh, so other plays. I could try leading a low spade towards the Queen Jack. Can East have the King of Spades? So again, my partner had 9 opposite my 17, which is 26. So 14 missing, they've got ace, queen, ace, the jack of the, yeah, so the spade's offside, but I can't really do anything about it. I could try and play a low spade, see if west ducks. And see if I can drop it now. But no. Uh, so I had king third, so down one. Uh, not much more to that. Uh, so claim down one. So that was the free day long tournament. Overall pretty good. I think uh, people getting to four spades would be normal. Uh, we don't really make anything. Um, but the provisional results are out. So let's have a quick look at that. Quick look at that. Oh, sorry, the provisional results are out. So let's have a quick look. I reckon I did pretty well. 70%! Yes, this should be a really strong finish. So my two bad boards, four spades down one, and four spades down one. Uh, but all the other ones, fantastic scores, all really strong scores. Surprise board one was that good. Surprised a lot of them were that good. I knew there was a few good scores in there, but uh, yeah. We'll check out how everyone else in the friendship did group did and we're actually placed in the top 1000 but if you want to join the friendship group add me as a friend slink2 s-l-i-y-n-k-2 um, in bbo and post in the comments uh, your bbo username and i'll add you back anyway let's check out how everyone else did 
All right, so I finished in 312th with 70.49%, but who did well? Wow, what a fantastic one. I was only just in the top five, but uh, Ace Eastwood took it out with 74.72% in 107th. Nishiet won uh, 197th. NL Sa NLS uh, NL Sanand uh, in 244th, S Merriman 270th, and then rounding up the top of 1,000, we had heaps of you. We got Peter VDH in 595, Walt 215 748th, Sean 9816 748th. We had a tie there, Edgar's uh, with 780th. So thanks all for uh, joining. We had heaps of people uh, playing today. Um, so if you want to join the friendship group, add me as a friend in BBO, comment that you've done it, and let me know your username, I'll add you back, and uh, we can compare. Anyway, let's get, have a quick review of these uh, hands. Uh, so four hearts, which looked like a pretty normal four hearts, uh, some people only got to three hearts, because that, that's just invite. I, I feel sorry for these people that they have to do something like that, um, but you... You could have been fourth suit forcing and then probably rounded it out, but uh, by discovering that uh, I had the four heart bit available, it was all good. Uh, a couple of people went down, just have a quick look at what they did. So spade lead, heart up, club up, queen of spades, spade rough, uh, and now they got a trump promotion. No. No trump promotion here. They... I, <laughs> That was unexpected. <laughs> All right. Uh, board 2, 27% for trying four spades, which went down. Four spades was a pretty decent spot. It was technically cold, but the line was... I wasn't going to play west for ace-jack-10 of diamonds. Uh, some people in one no trump or three spades make up the uh, rest of it. Three spades on the nose for 79%. I guess some people passed this in. Yeah, lots of people passed it in, and some people bid four spades. If you're going to open this hand, there's no way you should uh, be raising that. Board four, four hearts on the nose again. This time we had a 13 count. I scored 87% for this. This one was a tricky one. I thought I'd score pretty well. Try and work out which ones we actually need to rough. Um, some people look just in part scores, but a lot of people going down. So not surprised by that. That one was a tricky hand. Then board number five, two hearts plus two. Uh, I didn't think there was too much to this one, just that I false carded with the uh, queen of spades. So lots of people just made plus one, just checking spade, spade. And if you don't throw the queen of spades away, uh, then they get a rough and you can only make nine tricks. So here it was a pretty free safe false card when the ten of spades went. It was, they're all equals. The robot still should get it right, but uh, still worthwhile trying to uh, do that sort of play. Then one no trump, double down one. Uh, I like this one. A uh, bit frisky here with the double. I don't usually double with 15 points, but I had a five card suit that I was happy to lead, which wouldn't give away anything from the lead. And I had lots of control. I had the aces. Now for me, this is really valuable for trying to do that. So I doubled them and got the plus 200. Uh, Technically, I gave them chances to make, but it was a tricky one to defend. Uh, some people let it make, some people let it make lots of over tricks. And then board number seven, 67 percent, three no plus two. This one was a pretty easy one. Not a lot to that surprise that it was that high. Uh, some people just made fewer tricks. Not totally sure how. And. Uh, I guess not leading back towards the Jack of Diamonds or something strange like that. But that was a weird play by the robot popping with the Queen of Diamonds. And then finally, 39% uh, in four spades down one when the Ace of Diamonds was offside and the King of Spades was offside. Uh, but getting to game on this hand seems pretty normal, but we played it from the wrong side, I guess. I think we might be able to make if we played it the other way up. Yeah. So if we managed to play it the other way up, we could make four spades. But other than that, there was no game there to be made. Anyway, ooh, people were making 3 no because they've got three diamond losers, a club, and a spade, so you should probably go down. But the robots don't lead diamonds, so getting to 3 no is reasonable. I liked to offer 3 no, uh, but I don't think this hand is worth insisting. Uh, if your partner has a singleton diamond, you definitely want to be playing in spades. 
So here, I Q-Race and then jump to 3-0. No. I think Abana could consider passing it with just like soft cards and just a doubleton diamond. Um, not often would you Q-Race and then jump to 3-0 no chumps, but uh, we had a fit, so we played that. Anyway, uh, that was a free day-long tournament. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.